Hi guys, it's Kelly. It's Mama, hip flipping Mama. You know, Mama, aka Kelly. Welcome to my Wednesday night auction. We are live. I've got a lot to show you tonight, you guys. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I didn't even get them out. I'm so bad. I didn't even get them out. Hi, Debbie. I wanted to pop on just a couple minutes early. Give people a chance to file in. Hi, Becky. I have something for you. And uh, maybe... I'll do it right off the bat since I know you're here. Hi, Alexis. How are you? <clears throat> I've got some Christmas brooches. And, of course, I thought of you. I thought instantly of you. I'm good, Alexis. Thank you. I know I might look a hot mess, but... I'm all right. Guys, I've been working all day. All day. Hi, Anamora. I already sang your name once today. Anamora. Maybe I should just only sing names on Super Chats. No, I wouldn't do that to you. Hi, Dolly. How are you, honey? Did you guys just get your notification, like, just now? Or did you get it, like, ten minutes ago? I need to know. Because I want to know if the notifications went out when I set up the live or when I hit went live. Hi, Cookie. How are you? Hi, Crystal. Crystal, I've got some things for you. Just for you, not here at the auction, but things I'm going to send you. Some vintage things. Oh, I miss your face, too. I'm sorry I've been missing uh, yours and Jacob's lives, but it's been absolutely nuts, absolutely crazy. Um, but hello. Thank you for coming, even if for a moment. Yes, I do. Because although it's not exactly what you've been asking for, um, I do need to do it. But I'll show you. I'll show you live. Okay. We'll, we'll do a, a chat. And I'll show you the stuff. Hi, Kathy. How are you? This will be the first thing I do, Becky, just so I can get it done and get it out of the way. Na 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 na. No, no. How's everybody doing? Holly B. Holly B, did you get your stuff already? You should have gotten your stuff Saturday, no later than Monday. Did you like it? Are you happy with it? You loved it. Oh, Cookie, I'm so happy. I just want to make sure my new customers are happy too. Hi, Sandra. Thanks, Anamora. Cookie, that makes me happy. What day did you get it? Because all but two went out on Thursday. You love them. Oh, good. I'm glad, Holly. That's just kind of a representation of the quality that you guys will get 
when you buy from my auctions because everything is is really good quality. Lisa C is in the house. Oh, you just got it yesterday? I sent them. Yours might have went Friday. I had two that went Friday. And if yours was one that went Friday, and that was just strictly because PayPal was down. My PayPal was down all day Thursday. And as you guys know, I print everything out on Thursday and send on Thursday. Whoever pays Wednesday night or Thursday before 3, it all gets mailed on Thursday. So, and then usually you get your stuff Saturday. But there were two people that got sent out on Friday. So, Cookie, you might have been one that was sent out on Friday. And that's only because I had to do everything manually. And I had to do it through an alternate shipping company, not through PayPal. So it took me five times longer. It was stuck in, in Salt Lake. It took me like five times longer to do it, but I still got all of them but two out on Thursday. So if you got sent out Friday, Saturday, Monday, yeah, I see you getting it yesterday. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and start this. I have got five pins for you, actually four, because this one I can't seem to get, unless I'm doing it wrong. It wouldn't be the first time that I'm doing it wrong. I can't get the... Is it broke or is it me? Okay, so this pin is just a, a free pin, okay? Little Santa Claus. If you can get them open, great. Holly B got hers in, on Monday in Hawaii. That's not bad at all. Okay, so you get the little cute little Santa pin. And you're going to get this one. It's got a little glass heart. It's an angel with a little glass purple heart. And it's it's a, a stick pin, lapel pin. And then you're going to get these three. And thank you, Anamora. And I'll show you this beautiful Christmas tree in the middle. And it's not missing any stones. And then you're going to get this Leah Sophia. Leah Sophia. And isn't that adorable, you guys? Isn't that adorable? And it's really good, high quality. And this one's falling down on the job. And then you're going to get this one, too. So you're going to get... The five pins in all. Hopefully you can get the Santa Claus open. And we're going to do a starting bid of $10. That's it. Starting bid of $10. If you like if you like the pins. Now, this Leah Sophia right here, this is worth $10 all by itself. If you like Christmas pins. But you'll get all five. Kathy's in at 10. Thank you, Kathy. And I love this Christmas tree. Let me see if this Christmas tree has a name on it. It does not have a name on it. But I'll give you a close-up of it. Ah, oh, hi, Marianne. Yes, you did. Isn't that pretty? Oh, Anamora, why are you saying 1050? We don't go in 50 cents. We go dollar increments, silly. Oh, 
Hi, Sandy. How are you? And then you've got the little angel. Hi, Lucia. How are you, honey? So we'll count this down for Kathy going once to Kathy for $10. Maybe because this is bent down, but st no. I honestly, I can't figure this one out, you guys. So that one's just a free. Buy four, get one free. Going twice to Kathy for $10. Oh, here's the other one. Fair warning. And Kathy gets the Christmas pins for $10. Congratulations, Kathy. Woot, woot. And if you get this, this Santa Claus pin and you're able to open it up right away, you just send me a little text and let me know. Mama, I got that pin open right away. You're just silly. And I'll be like, well, I could have told you that. I could have told you that. My hands don't work the best. So... I went through a whole bunch of bags of jewelry and found some things here and things there. Hey, DLC. I'm going to stick myself in with this. I know it. I know I am. Okay. I'm going to do these now because Donna and T sent you DLC. Oh, that's so nice of them. I know they went live at 630. Oh, my God, Kathy. That Leah Sophia pin. Wait till you see it in person. It is so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. Debbie, we got snow, too. We got about three or four inches of snow. Okay, so I've got two bags tonight, you guys. I've got this bag that's got some brand new jewelry in it. And this bracelet right here is a, it's a stretch one, but it's so pretty. It's perfect for New Year's. And it came in an express, um, you know, those makeup now, you know those jewelry bags that have the, the ties and you tie them real tight? It came in an express bag like that, but uh, I didn't want to put the bag in here. It took up too much room. Amy, you had to go out and come back. It wouldn't show anything, but you could hear me, huh? Yeah, Anamora, we can see you. Hi, Anne. How are you? Thanks so much for coming in, Ann. Lisa, thank you. Thanks for including the, uh, the glove. So I've got this. We'll be doing this a little bit later tonight, but I've got several new, um, brand new pieces in here. And like I said, I was just going through, going through bags and, you know, condensing all I mean this is all wearable this is all you know nice jewelry so Donna said a bunch of you hi Denise that was sweet we can do that a little later and then I've got this which has got brand new jewelry in on the card too and there's another one in there too this is crap but there's still wearable items in here. It's just stuff that, like here's a ring right here. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. I don't know why I put it in here, but I did. So I'll have this bag too, but I'm selling it as a craft bag. So 
We can either do the bags now or we can do the bags later. What do you guys want to do? Hi, Rosalie. How are you? Hi, Ronnie G. Well, T and Donna are sending lots of people, aren't they? Hi, Devin. That was she. Oh, this looks good. Oh, thank you. Later for the bags. Okay, Melissa Cape. All right. Let's do this. I've got some rings. Some you may have seen, some you may not have. I've got a couple bracelets. But I am going to start with this one right here because I love this. I cannot pull it off. It's looking purple. Well, it's test an amethyst. That's why. Huh. Now, I thought this was tourmaline, like a bluish purple tourmaline, but okay. So I've got this chain. I'm not going to call this amethyst, guys, because I don't think that's what it is. We'll look at we'll look at it when we get it under the camera. So this is an 18-inch chain. Here's your spring ring clasp and your 925. Of course, I acid tested it as I do everything. It's a really pretty chain. See the chain? Isn't that pretty? I'm not, not sure what you call that kind of chain. But it's gorgeous. And here's your pendant. Let me get a really close up on this, guys, because I want to see the color. It's a blue tourmaline. Isn't that pretty? And I'm going to start this at $18, guys. Hi, Vulture. Again, it is an 18-inch chain. Don't be giving me any crap now. Just focus. There we go. Thank you kindly. Dolly's in at 18 Michelle O, hello, how are you? Michelle O says it's gorgeous. Hi, Sheila D. You are already added to the auction, Sheila. You need to email me your PayPal email address, your zip code, and your real name, and your um, YouTube name to hitflippinmama at yahoo.com. Kathy Phillips is in at 20. Anamora, could you kindly put my email address back in there, honey, so she can go ahead and send me that email? Thank you, Sandy. Sheila D., email me right now. Dolly's in at 22, and you can start bidding. Or you can start bidding now, Sheila D., but make sure you email me right after. Thank you, Anamora. There's my email address, hipflippinmama at yahoo.com. Thanks for all the thumbs up, guys. Kathy Phillips is in at 24. Hey, that's okay, Vulture. That's okay. I love you anyway. Here's the back. almost as pretty in the back as it is in the front. I love it. Thank you, Anamora. Thank you, Anamora. Isn't this gorgeous? 
Oh, this is so gorgeous. We've got Kathy Phillips at 24. Hi, Terry Berry. We're going to st start counting it down to Kathy Phillips at $24. Going once to Kathy for $24. Going twice to Kathy Phillips for $24. Oh, Dolly's in at $26. Dolly is in at $26. Well, you know what? It does look Victorian, Lucia. You are absolutely right. It does look Victorian. It's it's gorgeous. You know, it never hurts to stick around whether you plan on bidding or not because we have fun here at this auction. And we do trivia at this auction. Hi, Sandra. Oh, Sandy put, Sandra put all her information in there. Email me with it, Sandra. We're going to go once to Dolly at 26. We're going to go twice to Dolly. Oh, Kathy Phillips is in at 28. Thank you, Kathy Phillips. Dolly, do you want to come in at 30? Beautiful, beautiful necklace. I'll give you a close-up of that chain, too. I'm not sure, you know, I need to study it my chains because this is such a pretty chain. And I cannot tell you what type of chain it is. Lucia, maybe you know. I'm not a chain expert. Dolly is out. Going once to Kathy for 28. Thank you, Dolly, for letting us know, baby. I love you. Going twice to Kathy at $28. Fair warning. Looking at the chat, make sure you're all on live chat. And it is sold. Kathy Phillips at $28. Yay. Congratulations, Kathy. It's such a pretty piece. It's such a pretty piece. Thank you, thank you. All right. Let's do another necklace. Oh my gosh, I've got rings hanging everywhere. I've got rings hanging on pins. Hi, Ronnie G. All right, let me see if I got it. Give me just a minute. Give me just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. Mm -hmm. Just a minute to check my email. Usually I already have this up to my email, but I'm running a little slow on the show. Sometimes it takes a minute. Make sure that you're sending it to Hip Flippin' Mama, H-I-P-F-L-I-N-N, wait, F-L-I-P-P-I-N-M-A-M-M-A. -M -M so it's spelled, Flippin' is spelled funny, and Mama's is spelled funny. It's M-A-M-M-A. -M -M -A. Hi, Sheila D. Aww. You know, I love Donna so much. I love Donna and I love T. I love them both. They're both wonderful ladies. And God bless them for speaking so highly of me. I just absolutely love that. Um, as long as you've emailed me, guys, you can go ahead and bid. You copied and pasted it. I'm sure it'll come through. If it doesn't come through in a little bit, then I will. I'll check the. Uh, 
spam account. Okay. Let's see. Not yet. Okay. This is, I believe, a 20 inch, but let me verify. No, nope, 18 inch. This is a snake chain. And it looks like it could use a cleaning. I could have cleaned this before, but I didn't. Spring ring in the moniker. 18 inches long. And it is the most pretty 925. Now, these are just CZs, guys. Those pink, they're, they're not pink topaz. They're just CZs. But 925 Butterfly, and we're going to start this at 15. You did not, Dolly. You posted a video of the unboxing of all the jewelry. Oh, how come I didn't get a notification? Darn it all. I'm going to have to go watch that. I know, darn me for not cleaning it. Terry, don't make me feel worse than I already feel. Where did I start this at, guys? $10. $10 because it's dirty. <laughs> it's really pretty. I'll give you a measurement on it. But that's really why I started it at $10 because I didn't clean it. I know I should have. This is... Between a quarter and a half of an inch wide, and it's with the bail just under an inch tall. And Dolly's in at 10 after criticizing me for not cleaning it. <laughs> now, I think I started, I started it at 10 on Amora. So Dolly's in it at 10. Does anybody want to come in at 12? Michelle O is in at 12. Thank you, Michelle. Anybody want to come in at 14? I'll show you the back. You know, if you notice this bale crisscrosses, do you notice that? It's on a normal bale it crisscrosses. And then you've got your, your marks. Well, I'm going to have to. Put this backwards. You've got your hallmarks here. I'm trying to find a good way to show you. They're on the top here. Italy! You don't have to worry about 925 because I do, I, I test everything. So, so we've got Michelle O at 12, Dolly at 14, Michelle's at 15. Hi, Blended Whiskey. How are you, my dear? That's twice in one day you've graced my presence. Hi, Robin. Because she shed. Because she shed. That's why. And everybody that goes back to Donna and T, you tell them that I said thank you. And that I think just as much of them as they do of me. Dolly's in at 16. Thank you, Dolly. Michelle O is out. Thank you for letting us know. We'll start counting it down to Dolly at $16. Going once to Dolly. For 16, the beautiful butterfly. Focus. See how I yell at it and it just focuses? It's like a man, I'm telling you. I know. you. you I know, Marianne. That's hard for me to do. That's hard for me to do. I like everything so spick and span. And sometimes things come in, you have to clean them. You just have to clean them. We're going to go twice to Dolly for 16.
they're watching while auctioning. Oh my goodness. Going <laughs> twice. Fair warning. And this is sold to Dolly for $16. Thank you, Dolly. That's okay. Everybody's multitasking. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Everybody's multitasking. We all have to multitask. All right. I'm going to turn these this way. There. How about that? Thank you, Dolly. Congratulations. Amy says she sucks at multitasking. I doubt that highly. Um, I was so busy today, I didn't even put any makeup on. Nothing. I just threw my hair up in a clip. And that was it. I have been working like a dog since I got up this morning. I took a couple breaks, played on my tablet for a little bit. <sighs> Mommy, Mama is on the do. Kathy, you better believe Mama's on the do. Ooh, Robin eating se sunflower seeds. Nice. The dew of the mountain, yes. Oh, thank you, Sheila D. Who wants to do trivia? It's kind of early to do trivia, but who wants to do trivia? And I'm going to I'm going to look up a trivia website here because I can't think of any more trivia. Let's see. Let's do cooking trivia. Um, it doesn't give you the answers until the end. Well, that's not good. Staring at this bag. This is cr a craft lot with brand new earrings in them. It's got two pairs of brand new earrings in there. And a lot of wearable jewelry, but I'm calling it a craft lot because there are some things in there that are for craft. And then I have this that's got a few pairs of new earrings in, and this is all wearable, sellable jewelry here. Like I said, I was going through a bunch of old bags of jewelry, and I made those two up. Well, I had already had this one kind of going because if it wasn't something I was interested in selling... Or putting in a, a sale one. I put it in here. Hi, Beth. How are you? Cha-ching. There's Sheedy's Journey. Yay. Azrat. All right. Let me see what's sold real quick. I'm sorry. It's been a slow. I just got to see what sold right quick. Oh, nice. A nice piece of glassware. Okay. So we're going to do 10 trivia questions about food and cooking. All right. Here we go, guys. Ooh. What are small cubes of fried or toasted bread? Remember, don't type your answer until I say go, or you will not count. Well, thank you, Reseller Robo, but I don't know what you're congratulating me for. Oh, my, my chi-ching. My chi-ching, thank you. Okay. So what are small cubes of fried or toasted bread sprinkled on soup or salads called? 
go. What are small cubes of fried or toasted bread sprinkled on super salad called? Brugetta, croutons, toast, baguettes. Oh, this is going to make me go to the very end. Just me, Kathy, got it. Croutons. Okay, everybody stop. Everybody stop. So the first one. Was Kathy. And then Mary Beth. And then Debbie. Okay. So the way it works for all my newbies is if you answer a trivia question correctly and you're the first one to answer it correctly, you get free shipping. If you live out of the country, you get a discount towards your shipping. Um, but the free shipping only goes towards those who have won an auction. You can't give, you can't win and give your free shipping to somebody else. And the other reason I don't do that is because I was given free shipping to like six people a week. And I know you guys didn't realize that, but I was losing my head on shipping, especially when I went to a foreign country. <laughs> okay, we're going to do another we're going to do another trivia in a little bit. But we are going to do Let's do a ring. Okay, guys. True story. This is my own personal ring. This is out of my own collection, and I love this ring. Why am I parting with it? Because it will never, ever, ever fit me. It's never going to fit me. Let me get a weight on it for you really quick. It's gorgeous. Wait till you see it. It's not humongous, but it's just under four grams. And I'll give you a size. You're going to love it. Sheila D., my shipping that I charge um, is what the shipping cost for me is. And it's usually $2.76. It takes a lot of jewelry to get up over four ounces. So as long as you're on my side of the country, it's $2.76. If you're California, Utah, Nevada, that area, it's going to be 309 for anything under four ounces. I don't jack my shipping up. I give you the same shipping cost that I pay myself. <laughs> Who are you winking to, Kathy, huh? Nevada. Oh, you're in Nevada, so you'd be 309. And if it's anything over four ounces, let's say you buy one of these heavy bags. Well, that would be priority anyway. Oh. Yes, I've got pendants, Vulture. I've got pendants. I've got this pendant that I have on. And I've got another pendant to show you. I've got a whole batch of pendants coming. Um, that hopefully I'll get this week. So I'll have time to process them. But normally I have lots and lots and lots of pendants. I'm a little short right now. I just sold a ton of pendants. But... Um, Yeah, I don't have any 925 or gold pendants other than the one I'm wearing now, which is Carnelian. And I would have to start this one. I started this, I started this really high the first time I showed it.
but I would start this at 45. This is a designer, but it's, it's 925. It's got a beautiful clasp with a safety clasp that opens up and whatnot, but I would be willing to part with this. Oh, you meant brooches. I have a ton of brooches. Oh my gosh, like what kind of brooches? I collect brooches. They're all on my board. I just spilled all over myself. Look. I'm a sloppy mama. Look at that. I'm all wet now. That'll be my thumbnail. Okay. What is LLE brooches? Or you love brooches. Okay. So this is a six and three quarters. I'll show you. I wore this as a knuckle ring. But there's a lot of people that have a six and three quarters. Are you ready? It's turquoise and coral. Look at that. And I'm starting this at 30. Look at this ring, you guys. Is that not gorgeous? I'm only starting it at 30, guys. And that's a lot less than what I paid for it, but that's what I'm willing to start it at. My lip just leaked. Yes. Hi, Pat D's. How are you, friend? Anybody interested in this at 30? This is one inch long, a little over an inch long, and a half an inch wide. A little over half an inch wide, and a little over one inch long. This one right here. And this is pretty much how I would wear it right here on this finger. I just don't wear that many rings all at one time anymore. There we go. It's really pretty. It's got quite a bit of silver on it. It's not too heavy. But it is gorgeous. Yeah, I think you know, we had some guys earlier, Pat. No love for this means I just get to keep wearing it. Let's see this one. And I've still got this carnelian ring, which matches my carnelian necklace. I'm going to go through these really quick, guys, because some of you have already seen these. This is a seven and a half. Seven and a half. My Werther's original ring. Hi, Roberta. And I would start this at 25. So goes good with your blouse, Kelly. Thank you, Beth. This is actually, if anybody has noticed... The significance of this blouse. Does anybody know the significance of this blouse? This is the blouse I'm wearing in my profile picture. This is the blouse I'm wearing in my profile. True story. Oh. Let me show this one real quick too. I'm just going to do these really quick because this is a 10. It's a middle finger ring. I wear it on my middle finger. Spiny oyster. Really beautiful coral color. Really pretty. I'd start this one at 25 too. And that's a size 10. All right, 
This one was sold to me as a tan turquoise. And honestly, I've never seen a tan turquoise before. All I know is that I really liked it. You guys like this? Not this. This is my pretend wedding ring. See, I'm wearing it with a wedding band. Well, they're all 925, but those aren't real diamonds. Pat Dees, thank you for the super chat. You're so sweet. But, I, yeah. So, anyway. And I would start this one at $20. I just want to breeze through these rings really quick. This is a really cute ring. I'll get you a size. It should be a size 8. A flower for Mama. Oh, thanks, Pat. <laughs> Dolly's in at 20. Thanks, Dolly. Yep, and that is a size 8. The setting on this is so pretty. It's just so pretty. Anyone coming in at 22? Bye, Pat. Thank you so much for stopping in. Hi, Philly Picker. Well, thank you, Philly Picker. When you go back to Donna and T's, you tell them that Mama said, thank you for all the love and that I love them very much. Anna Moore is in at 21. You tell them I love them twice as much as they love me. Thank you, Anamora. 22. We go in $2 increments after 20. Dolly's in at 24. Focus. Isn't that pretty? And thank you for coming and giving a thumbs up, Philly Picker. Much appreciated. Amy Marsden, Donatella is who we're talking about. Anamora's out. Let's count this down for Dolly. Thank you for letting us know, Anamora. Going once to Dolly for $24. Going twice to Dolly for $24. Fair warning. And this is sold to Dolly for $24. Thank you, Dolly. That's a nice ring. Nice piece of silver. I can't wear that size on that finger anymore. First it was too small because I gained weight. Now it's too big because I've lost weight. Okay. Let's go with this. Why can't I think of it? Please do not be fibro fogging right now. Okay, this ring is also going to be up for sale today, but what is this stone? Labradorite. Ah! I couldn't think of the stone. Had a brain fart. Okay, so this is 16-inch chain, spring clasp, 925, of course I acid test everything anyway, so... There's n uh, never any worries. And this is a box chain. Beautiful box chain. I love a good box chain. And here is your Labradorite. I'll let you see the light come through it. 
See the light coming through it? And I'll give you a close up. And we're going to start this at 18. Isn't it pretty? See that? Isn't that gorgeous? Well, Kathy, I think this ring is a little big for you. But you could wear it as a middle finger ring or a thumb ring, maybe. We got Kathy Phillips in 18. Thank you, Kathy. Let me show you the back side of this. It's almost just as pretty. Dolly's in at 19. There's the back. So even if it flips backwards, you're going to have just as beautiful on the back as you, are, you have on the front. And this is, let me give you a length including the bail. With the bail, if I don't pull it off, it's one and a quarter inches long and it's a half an inch wide. Half of an inch wide. And let's take it back to the front. To the front. To the front. Let's take it back to the front. We've got Kathy Phillips holding the high bit at 20. Do I see 22? Uh, Mary Betha, we'll do the ring right after this one. For sure. We'll start counting this down for Kathy Phillips at 20. Focus. Focus. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. I've got to get a little motherly here. <clears throat> Focus. See, that did it. Dolly's out. Going once to Kathy for 20. Thank you for letting us know, Dolly. I know I got to threaten it. Going twice to Kathy Phillips at 20. Fair warning. And it is sold to Kathy Phillips for $20. Thank you, Kathy. Congratulations. I need to have uh, Kathy Phillips envelope and a dolly envelope. Amy says, Kathy, when you all call them by their real names, I get confused. Then when you tell me their screen name, I remember. You're welcome, Kathy. Thank you. Oh, I know, right? I need to get a completely separate envelope for you two ladies. But that's okay. With gold trim. Hey, Andy, what's up? All right, I'm going to do... Oh, I got to do this ring. All right. Oh, Mary Ann Swanson. I'm not repeating that, but thank you. Okay. Mary Beth, this is a size 11. So I wear it on my middle finger. Oops, did I show it on the wrong side? Oh, no. Because there's the 10 above. And the 12 below, so it's a size 11. And this is a labradite also, a labradite. You can see some flash in there. Really, really pretty. And I would, I'd go starting 20 on this. Look at the setting. This is so pretty.
it is a little bit thicker shank here because you've got the three bands but it is so pretty very pretty labradorite labradorite yeah it's definitely a middle finger ring I've got big fingers and it's a it's a middle finger ring for me so I'm going to put this back on okay so guys I'm going to show you a ring let me double check these stones because it's been a while since I presented this I think I presented it one time yeah, that's tourmaline. That's iolite. That's spinel. And that's amethyst. What's the middle one? I don't know what the middle one is. Garnet. Okay. Let me get a... So you're getting five gemstones in this ring. I think it was a mother's ring at one point. You know, I have very large fingers as well, ladies. Um... So I would not worry about it. This is a size six. And here is the ring. Really pretty. It's got a pretty setting on it. Whenever I present something on this, I can never see what I'm doing. Now I can. Let me give you a close-up, if it will focus. So the center stone is a peridot. No, garnet. The center stone's a garnet. The green stone is green tourmaline. The gold stone is iolite. The blue stone is iolite, and the purple stone is turquoise. And I'll start this at 20. But you gotta have the you gotta have the finger that can wear it. Oh no, I, Kathy, I didn't take it that way. So it's a six. Did I already say that? Five and three quarters and a six. It's a gorgeous ring. It's a gorgeous ring. I've been wearing it as a pinky ring. You'd think that it was citrine, but it's not. Let's see. In this setting... Is about three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch. It's got a little bit of a bigger bail or bail in the back, a uh, shank in the back. But it's really, really pretty. And here's your 925 with your hallmark. But you know, I don't I don't take those to mean anything. Those are just simply stamps. I acid test everything and I gem test everything. Debbie Kendall, you got a piece before anybody else did the, in the auction. You got a piece before the auction even started. Okay, so there's no love for this. All right. I showed you guys this already, right? 
the carnelian I did right starting at 20 okay I think I did if not you can ask me and I'll bring it back all right hey I've got this one that is yeah I think it was a mother's ring Robin it was but it's gorgeous so you know who cares it's just it's gorgeous I have this ring right here this I believe is a nine and the stone is just glass but it's gorgeous and it's nine two five it's it's quite a bit of nine two five I'm going to show it to you because it's super pretty and it's pink and who doesn't love pink so there's your nine here's the stone you can see right through it Elizabeth, you'd like the, you would like the mother's ring? Okay, we'll get to that. Just one second. And I would start this at 15. Just because it's 925, it's got quite a bit of silver. And the stone is glass, but the stone looks like strawberry quartz. It's pink. It's really pretty. Yeah, I saw, honey. I saw it. Let me put the mother's ring back up. Okay. So here's the mother's ring. So you want this. What did I start this at, you guys? Twenty? Did I start this at 25? Somebody put in the chat what I started this at. They're all 925. I don't have any gold rings right now. Sheila, I'm sorry. All I have are the 925 sterling silver rings right now. And I've got quite a few. I have quite a few left. So depending on the style that you like, I've got some that I may not bring out because others have seen them. What size is this one? I started it at 15. Thank you, Michelle. No, I started this at 15. No, I think 25 is what I started it at. Okay, so. Yep, Elizabeth, go ahead and bid. And then when you're done, make sure you email me your information so that I can invoice you. I need your um, real name your PayPal or your uh, YouTube name. I need your address so that I know how to, to properly bill you for your shipping and your PayPal email address. You don't have to email me from your PayPal email address, but I need to know what it is. If you don't want to do it right now, you can just make sure you do it directly afterwards, okay? Okay, so since Elizabeth is the only one interested in this, we'll count it down for her. Going once to Elizabeth for 25. Going twice to Elizabeth for 25. And sold to Elizabeth for $25. Congratulations, Elizabeth. Congratulations on winning your very first time here. This is a gorgeous ring. And you're getting all of those gemstones. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. I always wanted a mother's ring. Never got one. All right. Congratulations. Was there another piece of jewelry that somebody wanted to see? 
that I was saying, wait until I'm done. You're a long time lurker, Elizabeth. I'm so happy you're no longer a lurker. That makes me happy that you're not a lurker anymore. Well, welcome to the surface. Congratulations. Okay, was there anything I was showing? You guys, my fibro flare is, it's bad. It's just, it's bad. Oh, I gotcha. Anamora, what's the 24? Yeah, <laughs> Dolly, don't scare her off. Marianne, I did not know that about you. You know, I love how strong you are and how you are to the cancer. I love that. I love that about you. You go, girl. You rock it. Well, that's that's okay, Anamora. Don't worry about it. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to think. Let's do some earrings. I've got other rings and stuff, but we'll do those in a second. Let me take these rings off. I still can't believe nobody bid on this. I love this ring. That just blows me away. Okay, Elizabeth, don't forget to email me. I've got two emails. So I need yours, Elizabeth. Don't forget. Otherwise, I won't know where to, to, to uh, invoice you. Okay, earrings. All right, guys. These are so cute. These are so cute. I don't know if these are Aborigine people. I don't know if these are just little kids, but all I know is these are adorable. Oh, absolutely, Mary. And you should come to our Bible study. It's on Flippin' Hope, the channel. It's Anthony's uh, Pittsburgh's uh, prayer and ministry site called Flippin' Hope. And F L I P P I N. H-O-P-E, and this coming up Tuesday at 2 p.m. is when it is, and I'm going to be running it because Anthony is in Disney. Kim Webster! Oh, you were thought you were dreaming about me. I almost called you earlier, Kim, but I thought, last time I talked to her two weeks ago, it was the day of an auction. I don't want her to think I'm only calling her on an auction, so she shows up. So I didn't call you, but I thought about calling you. But honestly, I think I think of you on auction day just because you're always in the auctions. And so that's why I think of calling you. But I didn't call you so because I didn't want you to think I was trying to use you, which I'm not. So what ring? The turquoise and red one? Oh, okay. Joanna? Joanna Parrish? It's turquoise and coral. And it's a size six and a half. Almost six and three quarters. Could almost be a seven. Boy, I can hear my husband snoring from in here. Six and three quarters. And it's turquoise and coral. And I think I started it at 30. But that's gorgeous. That is a gorgeous ring for 30. 
It's got a beautiful setting. You're a seven, Joanna. I could stretch this to a seven. I mean, if I push down on this, it's a seven. But I could stretch it. See? But if I let it fall where it naturally goes, it's a six and three quarters. Yeah, I usually do too. Joanna, did you see these two? I've got a carnelian. That's an eight or a nine. I've got this labradorite. And I've got a spiny oyster. This is a big one. This is an 11, though. This is a middle finger ring. Okay. Back to these earrings. Okay, so these earrings are an inch all by themselves, not including the 925 fish hooks. I've got two bracelets today, but I've got a shipment of bracelets coming in, so I will have several bracelets next week. That's okay, Anamora. And these are spiderweb turquoise. Aren't these adorable? And they're just the little fish hooks. And the fish hooks are 925. And the little people are 925 with spider web turquoise. I think it's spider web turquoise. And I just would start these at, uh, I'll start these at 18. They're people. Aren't they cute? I'm thinking about starting to try to wear earrings again, guys. And I thought, oh, maybe I'll try and wear these. The little tiny people. Oh, look at these ones, you guys. Now, these I did not take the patina off. <laughs> Junior mints in your hair. Oh, gosh. Check these out. I'll show you the front. Focus. Now, see, there's patina in there that could come off if you soak it or you clean it. I didn't clean them. I don't always clean everything. They do look Aztec, Marianne. Absolutely, they look Aztec. But these are really cute. They've got tiger's eye, and they've got onyx, and opal in them. And I really want to say these are fire opal, because when you get them in the right light, can you see them sparkling? But these, yeah, these are looking Aztec, too. Yeah, they might be Navajo dancers. I'm not sure, Mary Beth. Here's the back. It says Sterling, so we know that they are vintage. And here's the front. And I would start these out. Oh, I'll start these at 15. I'm not very good at telling if, if things are Navajo or not. Thank you, Robin. I've got two batches of, of jewelry coming in. I cannot wait to share with you guys. I've got several bracelets in there. You also had a candy corn incident. Is there any love for these guys at 15? Okay. Oh, I just remembered. 
Thank you, Kathy. I've got these little uh, sterling silver fish that I would start at $10. I forgot all about these. I've had these forever. Yeah, Zuni, Kathy. I think you're right, Zuni. If anybody's interested or has a little one that likes fish. These are 925. I just left them on the card because they're so tiny, guys. That's what they would look like on my big earlobe. And those would start for 10. If anybody's interested or needs a stocking stuffer. Yeah, it looks like crushed turquoise. See, I've got those. And I've got these. Now, these... Nobody has seen these before. Or, I mean, I haven't shown them. These are green tourmaline earrings. And they are petite. I love green. They look like peridot, but they're not peridot. They're green tourmaline. And that's the size that they are. So they are Petite, my earlobe is like huge, but that's that's what it would look like. And I'll give you a close up, and it's got the neatest clasp where you just unhook it. That's a good shot right there. And then it's got a C clasp. See, isn't that awesome? And then here's a close-up. And I'd start these at, oh, I'd start these at 12. Where's my other one? That's a good price for these guys. They are... Quarter of an inch by a quarter of an inch. A little bit bigger than that, but. Ronnie G, are you saying that you want 10? You want to bid 10 on the fish? Nope, I didn't, Joanna. Okay, so we've got 10. We've got a bit of 10 on the fish from Joanna. Ronnie, were you interested in the fish too? Or were you just letting me know about Joanna's? Okay, thank you, Ronnie. It was your message I saw, so thank you very much for putting it out there. So we will go once to Joanna on the fish, going twice at $10 to Joanna on the fish. Fair warning. Make sure you're on live chat, guys, not top chat. And we are sold to Joanna. Yay! That's a really good deal, Joanna. How's that little one, that little blonde that likes to tell you all the jewelry's hers? How's she doing? She's so cute. She's she's just adorable. Mm. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to sell these together 
and they're this is a turquoise bracelet turquoise chips all the way around and this is a longer bracelet that's got a hook I hope she does too and this is a turquoise bracelet and amethyst it's a stretch why they put this on a stretch I don't know because these are big chunks of turquoise and this is real amethyst and it's not dyed how light it is actually turquoise in chunks of amethyst you hear that real chunks of amethyst I'll get you a link on these in a second but I'll start both of these oh I'll start both of these for $17 And the, the chips, the turquoise chips is technically an, an eight, seven and three quarters, but it's got an extender on it that's three quarters of an inch. Well, no, it's an inch. So it could be a nine inch. Okay, Ronnie G, what's the 20 on? Is the 20 on here? Is the 20 on this, Ronnie? On the bracelets? Okay, baby. So Ronnie's bidding 20 on the bracelets. Do I have anybody coming in at 22? And you can wear them together. How pretty. If my fingers worked better, I would clasp this. That's why I like a good T clasp. We've got a bid for 20 on the two bracelets. And this has got a really nice lobster claw on it. Don't give me any focus problems now. Dolly's going 22. Thank you, Dolly. Aren't those pretty? I love the big amethyst chunks. I think the amethyst and the turquoise is beautiful together. Ronnie's back in at 24. Thank you, Ronnie. Let me get this so it's not... Is it focused? There we go. Do I have anybody coming in at 26? Please focus. That's what I get for playing with the settings. Oh, well, there you go. That's a nice close-up, eh? So we're going to count it down to Ronnie for $24. Going once to Ronnie for $24. Going twice to Ronnie for $24. Fair warning, and we are sold to Ronnie for $24. Okay, I have to read these chats. Yes, but already jewelry obsessed. She's on a live jewelry haul video of mine and stole Mama's bracelet she purchased. Yeah, she did. She stole my bracelet, which I still have. Thank you very much. Hello, Otto. Um, I'll have more bracelets next week. These are the bracelets that I had for tonight. So we've got Ronnie at 24. Congratulations, Ronnie.
And did you already email me, Ronnie? Make sure, if you guys are new to my channel tonight, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification button so when I go live or if I have a, a surprise pop-up or something, you will know about it. Or if I'm just going live being a ding -a -ling, you'll know about it. Because that happens sometimes. But congratulations, Ronnie. Those are two beautiful bracelets for $24. Nice. All right. Let's see. How about these earrings? Oh, how about this? How about this? Catch me outside. How about that? How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? How about that? You know who I'm being? That little girl that's now a famous rapper. Okay, let's do some trivia. Who wants to do trivia? Hi, Becky. Put a one in the chat if you want to do trivia. Put a two in the chat if you don't want to do trivia. Kent, how are you, Kent? Thanks for coming, baby. How are you? Animal trivia quiz. Ooh. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't know if I want to give you hard ones or not. Okay, here's a good one. Okay, you guys ready? How many legs does a lobster have? Go. How many legs does a lobster have? How many legs does a lobster have? How many people are going like this? One, two, three, four. One, two. I don't see a right answer yet. That's what I thought too, Melissa and Kathy. Now everybody's Googling a picture of a lobster. Holly B got it. Holly B. Holly B and Anamora. I thought it was eight, too. I could have sworn it was eight. They must count those little front things. That'll be my thumbnail. Congratulations, Holly. Nicely done. Now you got to win something. Okay. Speaking of lobster. No, this has nothing to do with lobster. All right, guys. These earrings are an inch long by half an inch wide. And don't scream when you see them. They're freaking gorgeous. And I've got a orangutan staring at me. You ready? I'm starting these puppies out. We're going to go 20 on these. And they've got, whoops, there. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I'm just going to show one. Beautiful turquoise. Kathy's in at 20. Ronnie's in at 25. Thank you. Do I see 27? And this is the signature on the back. It's on both of the earrings, the same signature. These are gorgeous earrings. Ronnie's in at 25. You can drool all you want, Marianne. Kathy's in at 27. These are gorgeous. I love the setting of these. I love the back. I love that these aren't open. I love the little tiny dot at the bottom. I just love these. I just love everything about these. I hate my ears right now. Ronnie's in at 30. Thank you, Ronnie. Do I have anybody coming in at 32? Kathy Phillips is out. Anybody want to come in at 32? Thank you for letting us know you're out, Kathy. We can count this down for Ronnie. I think Sheila's on a lag. Somebody type in the chat that Sheila's on a lag. Going once to Ronnie for $30. Going twice to Ronnie for $30. And that's a fair warning. Sold to Ronnie for $30. Nice. Nice. Look at these. I wanted to keep these so badly. You know, these will look beautiful with those bracelets. Wow. Christmas has come early for you, Ronnie. What was that, 30? Yep, $30. All right. Let me just check my emails here. Just real quick. Hey, Elizabeth, I got yours. Let me just open this one. Oh, yep, I know that's you. Okay. Elizabeth, I didn't get your email. Oh, yes, I did. It's right there. It's right there. What can I say? I've got fiber fog in my head today. All right, guys. That was two trivias. Two trivias. It's in eight. It's 830. All right. And nobody wanted the green chrysophase or green. Why can't I remember anything today? Tourmaline. The green tourmaline earrings. Was anybody interested in those? Oh, Lisa, that's so sweet. Yep, Ronnie, I've got yours. Yep, I've got yours, honey. All right, guys. Now, this item is not... Hi, Sophie. How are you? Everybody, make sure that you hit that thumbs up, okay, on your way in or your way out. Make sure to hit that thumbs up. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. This is gold tone. This is a this is a hat pin or a stick pin, whatever you want to call it. But it is gold tone with a jade duck on it. And I'm going to start this at $10. That is jade. 
And it is not uncommon back in the 30s, the 40s, the 50s for them to put precious gems onto a gold tone or a silver tone. It's very common in those decades that they would do that. We've got Elizabeth Moore at 10. Thank you, Elizabeth. It's a really nice size, but it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's nice that it's that it's jade. We've got Dolly at 11. Do we have anybody coming in at 12? Here's the... And then it just pulls off. And you can poke your brother with it. No, I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. But it does go on and off a little hard. We've got Elizabeth at 12. Dolly at 13. We have anybody coming in at 14? Elizabeth's in at 15. Thank you, Elizabeth. Do I see 17? Good night, Vulture. Mama loves you. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate your love and support so much. That's what you need it for, Dolly. <laughs> We've got Elizabeth Moore holding the high bid at 15. We're going to count it down for Elizabeth. Going once to Elizabeth for 15. Going twice to Elizabeth for $15. Fair warning. And it is sold to Elizabeth for $15. Thank you, Elizabeth. And I'm so glad I got your emails. Congratulations, Elizabeth. I'm so happy that you're getting some things. You have that brother as well. My brother used to kick me in the stomach. Like when I was down, he would like kick me in the stomach. Like no joke. I've got some new things coming in this week, you guys. As I said, they should be coming in this week. They were ornery, ornery. Okay, guys, this chain is 18 inches. It's a really pretty chain. It's just like that other chain. It's almost like a fancy box chain. It's a spring ring clasp. And there's your 925, but we don't look at the 925s. Because anybody can stamp a 925 on an item and say it's silver. I acid test everything. And I gem test everything. So I know if it's real or not. Pretty, pretty chain. And then here's your pendant. Now this pendant has diamonds in it. It's got chips in here. A couple in here, and it's got three chips in here. Now, I'm going to give you a super close-up look at this. Now, you can see those look like big diamonds on the bottom, but do you see the chip on the inside and the inside of that? I want you to know that's the diamonds. So, it does have diamonds in it, but they are chips. They are minuscule, just so you know. But nobody's going to know that from where you were at. And if they get that close, <laughs> thank you, Kathy. That's funny. 
Get him, Joanna. Get him. Trolls don't realize what they're walking into when they walk into my show and to my channel. They have no idea. Hi, Perla. How are you? And I am going to start this baby at, I'll start this at $16. This is 925. It does have the diamond chips. You do get the chain along with it. We're starting it at $16. I've had this one for a while. Hi, Donna. Dolly's in at 16. Do I have anybody coming in at 18? That's our digital mama. That's right. Yeah, you can learn a lot from me that has nothing to do with jewelry. Let me tell you that. And if you're trying to offend me, you're going to have to try a lot harder than that. Because that's just... That's just fact, honey. That's not an insult. So we're going to count this down for Dolly. Dolly's in at 16. Let me give you a length on this. This is quite a long. This is almost an inch and a half long. By half an inch wide. Yeah, it is a great deal. Real silver and all. It'd make a great Christmas gift. Or a stocking stuffer. Anamora's in at 18. Thank you, Anamora. Do I have anybody coming in at 20? I wish this would focus. There we go. I'll show you the back. Dolly's in at 19. So here's the, the hallmark here. Right there. Thank you, Dolly, for your bids. Thank you, Anamora, for your bids. Do I have anybody coming in at 21? Yep, the price is, well, wow. You're absolutely right. Dolly's in at 19. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty, pretty. You've learned a lot from me, Amy. Well, that's good. They need a pen and paper to take notes. Well, we're going to count this down for Dolly. Going once to Dolly for 19. Going twice to Dolly for 19. Fair warning. And Dolly just got the best deal of the night. Congratulations, Donnie. Donna. Dolly. Dolly. <laughs> it is yours for $19. Congratulations. That's a good deal. I've had it for a while, though, so I'm happy to pass it along. Good job. Yeah, it's a stellar buy. All right. It's almost nine o'clock, guys. We gotta we gotta hurry. Okay. Let's do these. Here's my little quart size bag of nice wearable jewelry. This reminds me of Aaliyah Sophia, but I don't think it is Leah Sophia, but it reminds me of Leah Sophia. It's really pretty. This, this has got a lot of new stuff. These earrings are new. These earrings are new. These chandelier earrings are new. I'm going to start this out at $20, guys. It's got two sets 
lots of um, really nice faux pearls in here. Kathy Phillips is in it at 20. Dolly, can you come in at 22? Kathy got in there just before you. It's got a pretty bracelet in there. Kate, just me, Kathy's in at 22. Dolly's in at 24. Kathy Phillips is in at 24. Kathy, can you come in at 26? Dolly got just above you. This is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous on. Kathy Phillips has the high bid at 26. Guys, don't worry about that troll. Don't give him the time of day. <clears throat> Melissa Cape is in at 28. Kathy Phillips is in at 30. Here's one of those pearl, pearl necklaces. Joanna can tell you about pearl necklaces for me. She got a nice one. There's a ring. Dolly's in at 32. Thank you, Dolly. Dolly's got the high bid. Anybody coming in at 34? Kathy Phillips is in at 34. Anyone coming in 36? We can start counting it down to Kathy Phillips. This is really heavy, too. This, this would have to go um, priority. Small flat rate priority. Dolly's in at 36. This has got a lot of uh, neat little rings in here. They say 925, but they're not necessarily. Yeah, Anna Moore, I'll bring it up. Right after this, there's some pretty stuff right there. Kathy Phillips has it at 38. So when you look at the rings that are in here, guys, and they say 925, they're not 925, okay? They may say 925 on them, but they're not. Just an FYI, but there's a lot of gorgeous, gorgeous rings in there. Padded flat rate envelope, $8 anywhere in the U.S. Yep. That's probably how it'll go. Look at these earrings. I didn't inspect those close enough to see if they're turquoise or not, but that's a really pretty pair of dangly earrings. No, you're fine, honey. You're fine. Joseph Lehman, shame on you, you little dick. Thank you, Kathy. Okay, so we're going to count this down. Kathy Phillips has this for 38. She's got the high bid. We're going to go once to Kathy Phillips for $38. We're going to go twice to Kathy Phillips for $38. Fair warning. And we are sold to Kathy Phillips for $38. Way to go. Way to go. Yes, Kathy, but it's so tiny. It's so tiny. It doesn't really matter. If you're going to come into a chat full of women, you better come in representing. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. And a real man would represent. All right. $38 to Kathy Phillips. Good job. This time I'm going to write it on the envelope so I don't forget to bill you for it.
All right, now we're going to do this big bad boy. Now this is some craft items, okay? So that, you know, I am hauling this as a craft lot. Um, because I know there are some of you that, that do like to craft with things. But there are, I threw in two pairs of brand new earrings still on the card on this. And there's some bracelets. And here's another. It's a paparazzi bracelet or necklace and earrings that are in there. And some other things. But this is a craft lot. There's a pretty purple bracelet in here. I'm calling it a craft lot. Here's one of the brand new earrings right there. So this is a craft lot. And I'm going to start this at $10. This is a gallon size bag. So it's about half of a gallon. A little over half of a gallon size bag. So this would go priority also. Look at this turtle. Look at this turtle in here. Is he not the cutest thing ever? This turtle. Hi, Chris K. A lot of this is wearable. A lot of this is definitely wearable, especially the new stuff. Anybody interested in this for 10? East Coast, West Coast, East Coast Rules. Kathy Phillips is in at 10. Anybody interested in 12? Kathy, if you get this, I can just put it in the same envelope. I'm so apprehensive about handling this stuff too much. Oh, there's the swan. All right, we went to 14 with Dolly. And then Kim Webster at 20. Dolly back at 22. It's quite a bit for a craft lot, guys. Dolly's got the high bid at 22. Kim comes in at 25. Thank you, Kim. Anybody coming in at 27? Kathy Phillips has the high bid at 26. And Dolly's in at 28. Anybody coming in at 30? Hi, West Coast. What up? Kathy Phillips is in at 28, but Dolly had you right before you. Kim Webster's in at 30. Thank you, Kim. Kathy Phillips is in at 32. Dolly's in at 32, but Kathy had it had it in there first. Kim Webster's in at 35. Dolly, can you go 37? I'll put a whole lot more stuff in here for you guys, too. Dolly's got, oh, Kim Webster's got the high bid for 40. That's a watch, I believe. Memory serves. Kim Webster holds the high bid at $40. We can start counting it down. Nope. Kathy Phillips has the high bid at 42. Kim's at 45. Dolly, can you come in at 47? Yes, she is. Kathy Phillips is out. Thank you, honey. Dolly's got the high bid at 47. Kim Webster's high bid at 50. Do I have anybody coming in at 55? If not, we can start counting this down for Kim. Dolly is out. Thank you for letting me know, honey. Going once to Kim Webster at 50. 
Going twice to Kim Webster at 50. Fair warning. And this is sold to Kim Webster for $50. Thank you, Kim. I'll add, oh, Robin, you were so close. You were so close. Sorry, Robin. Um, Kim, I'll put this in a, a padded flat rate. I'll put a bunch of bubble wrap around it and put it in a padded flat rate. I won't be individually bagging these. I don't have the bags to do that. But um, I'll definitely add some more to it for you. And Kathy, I'll add some more to yours, too. Just because I can. Congratulations, Kim, and thank you. Thank you, thank you, Kim. Are you sure? No, she doesn't want it. All right, guys. Okay. On mine, when I said sold to Kim, Robin hadn't popped up yet. She popped up after I had said that, after I started my sentence. So, Kim, this is going to you. Robin says she got one at Donna's. So, Kim, this is going to you. That's why I always look right at my chat when I say sold. You were close though, Kim. You were, or um, Robin, you were really close, baby girl. And I would love the extra $5 for real because it probably would have kept going and going and going, but I got to be fair. Okay. All right. We're going to do one or two more things. You're welcome, Kim, and congratulations. All right. Uh, you know what? I want to do, I want to show these earrings. These earrings are 925 and they are um, garnet. <laughs> And they are 14 karat gold. And these are very unique. They're artisan made. And I'm going to start these at 20. I'll start these at I'll start these at 25. They're very different looking. This little gold patch right here is 14 karat gold. I tested it. It's 14 karat gold. These are actual uh, garnets. And on the back, it will say 
18 karat gold on these, but there's no 18 karat gold on here or 22 karat gold. There's, there's no 22 karat gold on here unless it's white gold and it's hidden because I've tested this and it's 925. Dolly's in at 25. Thank you, Dolly. And you will see yeah, right there. There's the name, and it says 22 karat at the bottom, but, and there's the 14K, you can see very clearly. And the name, is G, I can't read it. I couldn't read it to research it. P-A-S-K-O, Pasco, D-A-L-Y, Pasco Daily. Yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, I don't get it very often, but when I get it, it's just like, you know what I'm saying? But these are truly artisan pieces. Sexy is back. Yes, Anna, sexy is back. Dolly's got a bid for 25 for these. I think they're really neat. I think anything artisan made, I love things that are original. I love that you're not going to find another pair. Thank you, Ronnie. I will email you your invoice tonight, honey. I email all my invoices the night of my auction, so you'll get my invoice probably within the hour, okay? Whoops, there's a piece of tape on this one. We've got one bid from Dolly for 25. So we're going to count down for Dolly. Going once for 25 to Dolly. Oh, Kathy Phillips is in at 27. These are three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch. And if you'll notice, have a good night, Ronnie. They are very 3D. And there's my hair. See how they're 3 They're just cool. They're just cool looking. So we've got... All right, there's too much going on in the, in the chat. I can't see my... Kathy Phillips, did you retract your bid? Okay, so we've got Dolly at 25. So we're going to count this down to Dolly for 25. Going once to Dolly for 25. Going twice to Dolly for 25. Fair warning, I'm looking at the chat. And they are sold to Dolly for $25. Congratulations, Dolly. Woot, woot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, very art deco, Kathy. All right. What should we end it on, you guys? What should we end it on? Mm. Oh, Anna Mora wanted to see this ring again that I had up for 15. 925, this is glass though. Anamora, are you still with us, honey? This is the one that you wanted to look at, right? I almost forgot. 
I'm so happy I remembered. Thank you, Dolly. Thank you. You are so appreciated, darling. So appreciated. You're a doll to me, Dolly. So this is a nine. And Anna Moore is in at 15. And I don't think there was any interest other than her when this was up. So we'll start counting this down for Anna Mora. Going once to Anna Mora for 15. Going twice to Anna Mora for 15. And fair warning. It is sold to Anamora for $15. Congratulations, Anamora. Do you want me to hang on to it and save it, or do you want me to send it out? What would you like me to do? It's a gorgeous ring. Gorgeous. No, you saw it before, Dolly. You saw it before. Anamora, do you want me to hold on to this for you, honey? Or you want me to send it right away? Okay, I will. I'll invoice you tonight. And you can pay the invoice, and then I'll just hold on to it until you're ready. All right. Guys, That well, I'll do one more. I'll do these. I can't remember if I showed these last week or not. Am I lagging? I knew what stone this was. At one time, but I don't know what it is now. But I've got these earrings. They've got the feathers on them. And the 925. And I would start these beautiful babies out at $20. But look at the green and the blue and the stones. Let me keep it here. Well, there went one. So you can see the green and the blue. There. Can you see the striations in there? Let me get it real close. There you go. Just starting at $20. There's a lot of silver in these babies. But isn't that beautiful? It's all 925. I don't think the the fish hooks are, but everything else is. Solidite. Hmm. That's a beautiful sodalite. I thought sodalite was more blue. Aren't those pretty? I wish. I wish I could wear earrings. Well, all right, guys. That's going to be it. That is going to be our show. So do light. So do light. Oh. Uh, all right, guys, thank you so much. Thank you for emailing me for all my new lovelies, all my new lovelies today. Thank you for emailing me right away. I appreciate it. And to all my lovelies that have been with me for a long time, thank you, thank you, thank you for always coming to support me and love me. And to all my lovelies that I haven't had that long, thank you for coming and supporting me. And my new ones, thank you for coming 
and staying and supporting me. Thank you so much, you guys. This is always so much fun for me. I look forward to being able to spend time with you. I get so nervous, you guys. I get so nervous before an auction because I think to myself, nobody's going to buy anything. 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 Nobody's going to show up. No one's going to show up. Who's going to show up? No one's going to show up. And I always, I just always am so paranoid. And then as soon as I click live and I see people coming in, all of that goes away. And I'm just happy to see you guys. And I'm just happy to be with you guys. And it's just, and then when new people come in, I'm just flabbergasted and, and so honored and so grateful. Um, so we had Kathy and Holly B, and I don't think either one of them. Kathy did. Kathy got free shipping. Just me, Kathy. Yeah. You got free shipping, Kathy. And Anamora. So Anamora got free shipping. And Kathy got free shipping. So congratulations, Kathy. And congratulations, Anamora. Yay! All right, you guys. Holly B, you don't have to behave yourself. I'm not going to tell anybody. I promise I won't tell anybody. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much. And again, I will reiterate, I'm sending invoices tonight. So if you don't get an invoice from me tonight, hit me up tomorrow because that means I made a mistake. I did a typo. I sent it to the wrong person. Well, I don't usually send it to the wrong person, but you should get your invoices tonight if you don't let me know tomorrow. And I will see you all today's Wednesday. I'll try and do Coffee with Mama Friday morning. Okay? So I'll see you guys all Friday morning. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Mm-hmm.